okay. And then how I can fix those defect codes if I have this P300 or P301 or P300 or 3 or also 300 for 4, 5, 305 and 306 and 302. And what is this issue? Now we can see this issue and there is now my car's engine and we can see there is engine bay area and there there are those issue areas and these issue areas are now these mostly they are ignition coils and I have issue 301 and 303 like cylinder 1 and cylinder 3 and now I have made already repair I have replaced this new this is ignition coil for Toyota Corolla cars and Toyota engines and I have replaced new ignition coils but still I have this faulty codes and then I have also this faulty code it can it can it can be calm if we have bad spark plug and now I have replaced also new spark plugs in here and look this is quite okay spark plug but sometimes this can be in stuck this spark plug head and that's we need to replace spark plugs okay and I have also made this uh, new ignition coils then second is new spark plugs and then third one is that I, I made this compression test and here I have this compression test meter and now I found the issue and then when I start this my compression tester we can look my memory result I have four cylinder and now I now we go to first this cylinder one there is now now we are in cylinder one and there was compression this amount 13.45 and it is excellent compression and then I go to cylinder 2 and there was 13.90 what is also excellent result but then I have this cylinder 3 and there is almost zero compression rate and this is now my issue that I have in that cylinder cylinder 3 there is almost empty no any compression and then when we look this my final cylinder 4 compression there is also excellent compression 14.20 and now that means that if I have this low compression rate in this my cylinder 3 it means that now issue is that one I have in here this similar piston like in there inside this is Toyota's 1.8 liter VVTi engines piston and now I am upriding that if there is no any compression in my cylinder tube in here there is two options that there is crack in that my piston that there is direct hole through that my piston in here there is big part missing that I am uh, believing and I estimate that there is piston crack in that area. I have seen a couple of times that that piston, Toyota's piston can be damaged in here and then air goes through in here and then there is no any more compression in my cylinder. And then second option is that there is this uh, valve, valve damage, that valves are damaged in there and then there is leak. But let's look when I open this my cars, this engine, that what is their issue? But this is the situation now that what generates these P300 series uh, faulty codes. There is those three topics: uh, this ignition coil, spark plug, and then low compression rate. That there is bad engine damage. And of course, fourth one is that our this ignition coil cables in here they can be damaged also it is one possibility but now I know because I had this compression rate tester 
that I have none compression in cylinder 3 what is really bad damage okay but let's look when I have opened this engine that what is there this situation in that area okay and I start my job okay and then then I have made in here a little bit work and I have open my engines this cylinder head and piston area and now I have also fi found and find the issue why I have this engine faulty code this P300 and then P303 and now there is this my cylinder head area in here and this is like timing chain area and this is cylinder 1, cylinder 2 and cylinder 3 and I had issue in this cylinder 3 area and now I a little bit I rotate my cylinder head and then we can see that what is this my engine's issue and in here look this is cylinder 3 and now when we look that why I have and I had this compression rate zero and look in here there is hole in in x housed valve and I can take this my screwdriver that I can show there is my actually small tool in here there is one part missing in here and that means that now all of my this compression goes away and that's this piston area is like zero power no any power because all compression air leaks to that x housed manifold area and now I believe that this my small part in here this valve what has been broken in here in that area it has been fly away in through that that x housed x housed uh, manifold area I am I am lucky because now this small particle it has been flied away through that x housed manifold to this uh, x housed pipe and maybe I believe that this my small valve part is in my catalytic converter and let's go to look that can I found that because now it has been flied in that area really huge speed and 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 maybe we can found that but I am really lucky because if this my intake valve has been it, if this in, intake valve has been broken then this particle it has been hit inside in this cylinder area but now when it is this x housed valve it has been flied away and let's go to look also that what we can find next okay and there is then this my cars this x housed pipe and then when we go in that area this is my catalytic converter and this small particle should be in here if I am right let's test that this part it could be in this catalytic converter area in here because this is full of filter and let's look if I little bit move that that can be here this rattling sound no there is no any yeah, I believe that this small part is, is it has been this valve part is, is it has been hit to against this catalytic co converters more small cells what are in full of that area and this my valve part is in, inside in that catalytic converter okay and then we can also check my piston next